Welcome back to Block Integrity. This is your host, Joe. And it's your boy, LJ. We appreciate y'all showing back up. We miss y'all. We took a little hiatus for the holidays, you know, just to celebrate and relax. Hope everybody was safe. Nobody talked to Omarion. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody out here, you know, hacking and sneezing and all that. Hope everybody made it back home and hope everybody got what they wanted. Man. For the holidays, excuse me, I'm a little... Not finished eating, so make sure you don't no uh, blood. <laughs> make sure you don't no bread in my teeth. Street savage over here in the streets. <laughs> but shit, I had to work all damn week. Well, shit, uh, holiday except for New Year's. That was beautiful. Me and my girl finally spent New Year's Eve together, so that was a blessing. Don't know if our damn schedule was gonna line like that next this year, so we took advantage of it. We just fell asleep on the couch watching movies. <laughs> we woke up by around 11.45. <laughs> Chilling out. Yeah, it made sure, you know, that was bullshit. But we spent, spent a nice time together since my whole family was out of town and shit. <laughs> Left my black ass up here in Ohio. Had a ball, too. <clears throat> yeah, I bet. Had a ball. Tell you know me all type of videos and all that bullshit. Yeah, I, yeah, I was having a ball. Yeah, motherfuckers. It was, it was good to see my peoples, man. The whole time I was cooling down there, my yeah, sinuses yeah. went crazy though. You yeah. see, I can breathe now. Yeah, I ain't yeah. stuff you none of that shit. I was down there for two days and it was over. Yeah, I hope I make it this this year. It's, well, y'all already know what year it is. It's 2022, but shit, if you're watching this, you're in the same year I am. Literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I hope I make it down there this year. But if not, I wish my, I'll send my wishes and greetings and whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. it, was, it was good because, like, I would go past areas that I've been before and I realized I was there. And then I asked, is it such and such? And they'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, damn. Mm. I just felt that feeling, you know what I'm saying, when we get to certain areas in the city. I was young, young, young when I was down here. So, for me to feel that way. I gotta, gotta feel like I'm at home a little bit. Yeah, see, he went down south and all that shit with all that good ass weather and sunshine. Come back here to this bullshit Ohio weather. You see, we both got on fucking coats indoors, yeah. wearing sunglasses. <laughs> There's a reason for all that, but we ain't gonna explain the sunglasses. It's, it's we get all weather in the matter of four hours Man, right, that I the don't... sun is up in Ohio. It's fucking ridiculous. It's... Yeah, it's, it's stupid. From the looks of it, from the inside of the house to the outside, it looked like it's about 95 degrees. Sunny and beautiful Sunny. outside. Go oh. outside, like shit, and fucking chap lips instantly. It's Probably don't feel like you got punched in the stomach. Pretty much. <laughs> Knocked all the wind out. But yeah. Fuck Ohio weather. Shit is crazy, man. Before it would be so messed up, I don't know. Before it had so much bad weather up here. For my sinuses to go crazy for being down south, it wasn't even that bad. It was like, it got, it went from warm to cold throughout the day, you know what I'm saying? By the third day, I wasn't used to switching my clothes so much, you know what I'm saying? Up here, it's either gonna be cold or it's gonna be hot. Mm. Ain't no half a medium around this bitch. You know, you just pack a bag, like an afternoon bag of clothes. That's what that shit is. Yeah, I had to, I had to get used to it after the third day. Anyway, my black ass was up here, being uh, all essential and shit, putting up all the groceries and everything, because all these motherfuckers panic because it's a Marion out here, <laughs> busting dance moves across the stage, <laughs> kicking everybody off the tour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this motherfucker gonna hit with the mandate, and he gonna hit with two more damn special guests. I forgot what one, one of them was called. It's uh, what, UMI or some shit like that? I'm, I'm, don't quote me on that, because it might be the wrong letters. Then he got another special one guess. called. Yeah, special guests. They come sliding out the back. Oh, and then they got a uh, flu rona. That come oh, out. That's an opening act. I'm like, come on, bruh. And they all say, vaccine don't work, but you might survive. <laughs> you got a more, better chance of surviving if you get it. If you get the vaccine. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, what the... Then they mandating everybody. They about to give everybody avatars. Yes, <laughs> man, for real. <laughs> not, my, not my ass. I'm gonna be hands on everywhere. I mean, I'm front line, but uh, they uh, yeah, it's some bullshit out there, bro. They got outbreaks. My job had 14 outbreaks in two days, I believe. Might be a week. Anyway, it's too damn many. Right. <laughs> to be in one building. 
Like, like they drinking from the same water fountain and stuff. Yeah, they gonna say, well, we clean the area. Wait, like, nigga, okay. We might not be in the same department, but we only got two bathrooms and one break room. That's the dirtiest fucking bathroom and break room in the goddamn company. <laughs> like, nigga, ain't nobody clean that shit. Somebody to clean it, they did an awful job. Fucked up job. You could tell everybody stood up, took a shit, and missed. <laughs> I was some dirty motherfuckers at my job, man. I'm not gonna say where I work at, but if you know where I work at, there's some dirty motherfuckers at my job. So I ain't gotta worry about that. I wish I did. Anyway, that's how the shit that Rona, the Armarion, come around sliding everybody. Don't forget hit the touch. Get a touch of the <laughs> touch of the uh, Armarion. Get your ice bite box. Where your heart used to be. <laughs> I don't know the other songs and shit, but you get what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? It would be creative if I wrote shit down, but I'm not going to put that kind of effort into that shit. <laughs> See, I'm, in, I'm locked up in a secure building, so I ain't got to worry about no random people. I'm locked up, too. But I got to ask to be let out. But uh, these motherfuckers is nasty. <laughs> this is dirty ass, man. Mm-hmm. That's what they have to say. We cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least my shift. I don't know about first shift. I know back in the day. I used to hide out in the bathroom. You know how niggas do. Hide out in the bathroom and hit the Facebook up. A little back in the day, I don't do that no more. <laughs> but you hear a motherfucker come in there and actually taking a shit. Oh, yeah, it. <laughs> you actually come in there and taking a shit. First of all, you get mad. Like, how dare you come in the bathroom and take a shit when I'm taking a break? Like, give me some goddamn room. Give me 15 minutes or something. So then he'd get up and just. No soap, just get his hands wet so people will see he got his hands wet. Turn water on. Yeah, you just hear it. Just walk or smooth out. That's after like too many. I know who it would be, too. Hey, dude, Bill. Yeah. He he almost, some cherries and them grapes. He almost said his motherfucking name. So, <laughs> <laughs> so shit, we'll cut that out. I don't <laughs> I mean, know wait, nothing about what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have no idea. Yeah, that's how this motherfucking corona shit, corona shit spread. It's bad hygiene. Wash your hands. Be careful. Kids shouldn't be in school, my my opinion. You know, they should be videotaped or not videotaped, you know, video talk. <laughs> what do you want to call that? The viral shit. Excuse me, kids shouldn't be mixed up in this shit. Old people shouldn't be mixed up in this shit. They they saying that the kids uh COVID it's rate going up. I say it's going up because they paying attention to it more now. Four. They didn't have to do that. Now they're letting they're doing them out. It. They're letting them out. They're letting everybody out. They bring shit back to their kids and let kids out. And they bring this shit back to their parents. Vice versa. It's like people gonna be people. They gonna do what they want to do. You might have to. I ain't gonna say that shit. Nah. Just, you people. might have to have to sit down for get two weeks and everybody stay in the house and wash their hands. That's it. We yeah, be done in two weeks probably. But nah, they just want to be these motherfuckers. Yeah, niggas want to be motherfuckers. <laughs> That's some new shit. That's some new shit for 2022. 2022. That was shit we're going to sound right. 22s. One thing I do want to say about this COVID shit. COVID. People, stop assuming everything is COVID related. A motherfucker had one symptom, they X'd off a family. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Let, let the motherfucker go through his course and get that shit out of the system, man. Mm-hmm. God damn. Nigga ain't got COVID. Half of the shit motherfuckers be having just simple stuff. But the, the the media and everything is so severe with this. Everybody just got something to say about something. All I know is they mandated my job. And if I got it, I chose to um, get my, my, my test every week. I got to get that shit paid for. I got insurance. If I got to pay for it out of my own pocket, I'm going to quit. I'm gonna lose my damn job over this shit. <laughs> so I have to. Like, Ooh, like I said, they ain't really fucking with us at the job. We could. Yeah, they. We got, I don't even think we got the hundred employees right now. But we to the point now where they got crisis mode and all that bullshit. But there, if you got COVID, you got to come in if you got symptoms. Damn. Yeah, and they be around. Now, I work in retail. Retail is with candy and toys and all that shit. They got people working there with COVID. Making it right. worse. Making Make it, it worse. Man, for real. I'm like, it is one bathroom. And that's how the kids get it. Because they be putting shit in their mouth. Exactly. So, they ain't supposed to be putting it in their mouth. Shit's gross, man. Stop being nasty. Wash your hands. 
You use Amazon Prime. I ordered something from Kroger's. And then Kroger's is up the street and around the corner for me. <laughs> it took them two hours to give it to me. But I'd be a motherfucker if I wasn't eating pepperoni sandwiches in about two hours <laughs> and 35 minutes. <laughs> I was fucking that shit up. Road didn't, sandwich. Didn't even leave my house. Me and my girl. I told my girl not to do it, but she did it anyway. And as I'm eating it, she's going to be acting like a fucking asshole. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, Ain't you glad I don't listen to you sometimes? How you going to answer that shit? That's like giving her permission yeah. to not to listen to you. You can't. I looked at it with half pepperoni hanging out my mouth. <laughs> I, would like to, I would like to say that's a Virgo thing. Dude. Punk ass shit. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like some Virgo <laughs> shit. Some punk ass so, shit. Shout out to the Virgos out in the world. Mm. Shout out, shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Fuck a Virgo. We are some evil motherfuckers. Nah, y'all just emotional. <laughs> like, hey, get this motherfucker something comfortable to be around. It'll be all right. You're always talk shit, man. Yeah, man. Ever, man. Oh, Gemini's is the worst. Gemini, oh, if you I don't know what's the worst. Gemini's. Yeah. I know. I, Gemini's is the worst fucking <laughs> sign Gemini's. ever. What y'all think? I ain't did this a fact, nigga. They, they two time devils. Two time and devils. And don't even know it. There's something about y'all. They like two different personalities and act like you don't have two different personalities. Like, fucking stupid. I'm heavy on that astrology shit. I think it's astrology. If it is, I'm a bad motherfucker. <laughs> and the conditions I'm in for me to say that word correctly, I'm, yeah. But uh, I'm a Scorpio, by the way, and fuck y'all for y'all judgment. But back to these damn Gemini's and Virgos. Yeah. They ain't about shit, bro. This nigga ever hater, man. That's. See, he just put it out there, Scorpio, man. Y'all better get on him. He always hate me. Make y'all look bad. Oh, we hate. Make y'all look bad, man. You trying to, to tell me Gemini's ain't shit? Each one. You're supposed to lift each other. You're talking about Gemini's. That shows me. I don't know nothing about no Gemini's. I'm, I'm telling the world. Gemini's. I, I ain't going to need to apologize to any Gemini's. Nah, y'all know y'all crazy. Well, you speaking on your mind. Shit. Nah, I usually want y'all sorry if I offend. Fuck that. If I offend you, let me offend you again. Because you got two different personalities, nigga. Y'all know y'all crazy. And y'all probably laughing at this shit. It's like every other sign got something. Y'all the worst fucking ones. And Virgos are just emotional. They like, you know, it's, 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 it's two Virgos, though. It's like a August Virgo and the fucking September Virgo. You know, I would disagree with you on that, but it is, it is true. <laughs> it is two different Scorpios. It's the sensitive-ass ones. So, They'll be like, baby, don't leave me. The ones that are fucking with me. I'm gonna say I'm a September Virgo, so we a little a little bit more thugging than you think, player. Mm, my girl's a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> and then the same week as this motherfucker's birthday. And you got the girl version of it, so that's that's how you deal with that. Yeah, with lots of sage. <laughs> Let's just say that. Lots of lots of sage. <laughs> Meditation. And yo, uh, on a memory foam mattress. <laughs> that's how I, that's how I take care of that shit. Hey, no man, I ain't got no blow up mattresses at the house for you to crash over, bro. You better hey, chill out. Fuck that. I go to tell it, tell it. Y'all need some TV. Uh, you know, he said it could be my own space. Fuck right, that. Fuck that. I can't do that roommate shit no more. Hey, bro, I feel you. <laughs> feel you. Can't do it. I feel you. I know because I'm on my idea, yeah, bro. It was a couple times I had to go crash the telly when, when everybody was living with me at one point. I had to bounce out a couple nights. Yeah, me and this nigga used to be roommates. Never again. I used Never. to also be on food stamps. Never again. Never. I understand why crackheads get off a of crack and say, Never again. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, it was horrible. Some bullshit. Like, God damn. Like, shit, yeah, it was good while it lasted, but you could tell when it was over with. Like, all right, you been gone. <laughs> like, a lot of motherfuckers got on watches around here. You ever notice that shit? You ever know when it's time to go and everybody's watch me showing? Like, Bruh, this nigga got it. We'll have a house full of Negroes and everybody be fresh mm. with nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Just sitting around <laughs> talking about what they did 10 years ago. That's when we was young, though. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't really have to have nowhere to go. We was just young, but we was all in one spot. Yeah, it was at a spot where shit could happen. Yeah. Like, you didn't want to miss nothing, so you stood there. It's like the block. But they was, came through my crib. Yeah, we ain't had no stoops, nothing like that. So and Not did. like bad shit, but... It was, across, it was too close to the police station to have actual stoop stoops. So it was in, indoors. I, I can say this back in the day. If you was a single male and you kicked it at my crib for longer than a week, you ain't had no numbers or no ass, something was wrong with you. 
So I'm gonna say about that. That's the fucking truth. <laughs> Cause nigga, quiet as All cat. All you had to do is be there for seven days, <laughs> and you was gonna find somebody. Mm-hmm. Somebody up. was gonna find you. Straight up. And they gonna have one, and one of them parties don't corner your ass. <laughs> and I almost gave myself away. <laughs> so I ain't gonna keep saying what I was gonna say. A you lot. know what? <laughs> they gonna, uh, they gonna wait till cause these motherfuckers used to throw parties before they went to the club. So they yeah. wait until the motherfuckers yeah. go to the club and double back. Yeah. And then we would leave the party while the party was still jumping. But we yeah. would tell the homies to slide outside and get in the cars. And whoever was the last person in the house locked the door. And then we'd be like, we gone. That was always me. Motherfuckers be trying to run back in my crib, but it'd be already locked up. We already on the highway going to the to the club and shit. See, I wasn't no club person. I stood at the crib and opened the door for that special night. <laughs> it was a good times of mine, man. Yeah, so I was getting me, I wasn't doing it a lot, but I was, I was getting my sweet piece. You know what I'm saying? Did getting a little action going on there. Nice to sleep on the floor. I did not have a bedroom, door, window, or curtains. I can say, I can say, Gettysburg Getty, Kroger supplied a lot of females to my parties. Gettysburg or Steven Kroger? Gettysburg, man. That's what I'm talking about when we was young. Oh, young, young, young. Like, Young, yeah, young, when young. I first moved over Salem and shit. Like, yeah, that shit was. Yeah, we was young, young, young. Yeah. Because them niggas used to have all the breezies on deck and they would show up. That's how you know they was getting older because they stopped showing up. But shit, yeah, shit going on. They yeah, show up now just to have something to do. Just get up the house from the kids. Man, we want to deal with them bitches. Yeah, we don't bitch the other crows. We don't deal with them bitches. They don't see with all the crows. So I should have put that crazy ass, ass Crazy ass baby daddy come trying to chase you down and shit. Actually, they ain't, even, they ain't even working there no more. They just go to the shop. <laughs> I just talk to people. I'm like, do you still work here? Like, I remember you from here, Keisha. I, I'll just go with you. I don't know no Keisha that work at no damn <laughs> Seaman Thaw Crowers. If I do, I just it's love it to draw. It's funny because we do. Nope. She the homie, though. I don't know. Yeah, she the homie. I, I was literally a shot in the dark. Bro, that's what I'm saying. We know so many people because of Kroger's. That's because skis and then all the homies, every time there, all the homies worked at Kroger's. Free skis. Free skis. And everybody know, you work at Kroger's as a teenager, you knew what it was. Mm-hmm. You seeing all the baddies coming there with their grandmas and mamas every day. Mm-hmm. You gonna talk to something, you go back. Display. <laughs> You're shopping too. You gonna bag her groceries extra special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. This weather crazy. <laughs> you know you gotta go put some petunias down. This you, know you need some help putting this in the car, ass nigga. That's what you gonna be, y'all. Straight your back, putting all that water in the car. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Take it out of her car when she get home? Hey, you gonna get? Some, you can get the young ones and you get the old ones. You know what I'm saying? See the way it go. I still work in that environment, and I'll be damned if I help somebody with their shit to their car. <laughs> That's like, what nigga, I'm I, I don't even show you where it's at. I'll tell you where some shit at. It's over there, man. Shit. That's that's the development change. And when you was young, you was at everything. Mm-hmm. You well, majority, not everything. When you got older, you got what you wanted. And you was like, fuck everything else. So pretty much. How that work? Like right, I got some in-house, in-house. I ain't in-house though. Just <laughs> so fuck y'all out here. Kick <laughs> <Like, laughs> rocks with your problems, bitch. Yeah, that's another thing. Y'all women make it hard for a nigga to be nice to y'all. Cut that shit out. They try to be nice to y'all motherfuckers, but they ain't trying to fuck you. I'm gonna throw that on out there. There's uh, it, some niggas out there that try to be nice to y'all, that try to wiggle their way in. Yeah, I understand that, but you gotta understand there's some niggas out there that is just wanna be your friend. Or not even wanna be, just are your friend. If they can figure out how to say, make you feel good about her saying no, I had a couple females say no to me, and I was decent feeling after it. Like, oh, alright. I've never had a woman say no to me. Liar. I was seriously. I just heard not yet. Not yet. It's a difference. Man, uh, she needs to take her lunch break. <laughs> like, I was, seriously, I ain't never heard no female. I never got turned rejected. I had it. Not because I'm out here as weak or suave. It's just I don't be out here like that. One of them said her baby daddy was crazy, so she wasn't trying to get me in the mix of that. But, you know, I was cool with that. Because she kept it real. You know what I'm saying? She could have had a nigga in the shootout. But she kept real with me. It was like, nah, I ain't gonna do that to you because this nigga crazy. He might try to shoot you. <laughs> That's like, shit. So if she might have said it, and she might have been lying, but the way she said it, she made me feel good about it. That's what I'm talking about. Like, don't make me feel like a fucking two year old kid that just drunk all your juice. 
mm. I'm standing there with my stomach out looking goofy. <laughs> Yeah, just keep ranting on and on and on. Hey, bitch, I can do so much shit, but I go to jail right now. You turn it into something. Right. Well, yeah, I used to be a shy, fat kid, but then I realized I was a teenager that was fat. Kid. Whatever you want to call it. And I said, fuck it, that fat shit ain't gonna change. So I might as well go in and go for the gusto. So I said, fuck it. And I just started talking to, first of all, seek out. Pick your battles. If you know the bitch is not in your league, and she ain't give you no kind of sign, don't try. That's a young age. If you can't take rejection, that's the young niggas out there. Right. But can't get in your feelings. Can't get in your feelings. So, you know, low hanging fruit, you know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers that, that's artists, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, the, the ones that, the nerd kind, the ones that's quiet, the ones that wear their coats all the time in the class. They're the ones you go after. And, and for real fellas, you gotta get rejected. You gotta get used to it a little bit. So it can become more easier to, to do what you gotta do out here in the streets. I really wouldn't know. Can't be afraid of getting rejected, man. You gotta, you gotta get the nose out the way, because you're gonna get a yes sooner or later. Well, shit. Oh, damn. Okay. I, I've never had no. It's like I'm serious. I've never had a motherfucker tell me no, but I don't be asking like that. But that's the way I'm you stuck. That's the way you read people damn. and shit, you know what I'm saying? I didn't mean stuck. That means I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm done chasing. I'm, not, I'm at the top. So now I'm, I'm finished. I didn't mean stuck, sorry. So you turn in this card, it's like card in, bro. Nah, I turned it in, I'm done. I'm done, I, I, I played the game well. I was Mayweather out here. I was dodging all the nose. So, well, I seen what I like. I wait till something built organically and shot my shot dead. Some people that, that, that shit don't work for, but three times I tried it worked. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said I don't be out here like that. That's why I don't be hacked. I don't hear no's because I don't be like, hey, baby, you, hey, you, you, you know, all that shit build. So I'm I mean, out here being cocky. That's the reason back, why. Back in the day, when nigga was just out here, just getting his driver's license, getting his, you know, getting his couple checks, you know what I'm saying? He out here. you going to be ready to holler at some chicks, nigga. I know I was on it. When I got my first Delta, nigga, I thought I was the man. Because I wasn't on the bus no more or walking around. It wasn't like I had a Benz or a Rolls Royce or some shit. I just had some wheels. And my homie Earl know how to work on cars, so I was cool. Of course, a nigga named Earl know how to work on cars. <laughs> What's his name going to be? Steven. Hey. They never made a Steven mechanic. And his uncle was the one that taught him, so you know what I'm saying? I, like, I got to talk. And Earl. I got to talk, man. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's. You know, like. like I'm just saying. Yeah. I know, but I'm just saying it's the name alone. You could have just let the occupation out. We could have figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, yeah, they was like, them niggas. Shout but, out to them. But all the homies, I think, I don't know if I, I might have been like the fourth person that got a whip out of the whole squad at first. I think Mac was the only first one. He held it down for the for the longest. Mac had the whip, the little little Tonka toys he be building back in the day. <laughs> This nigga pull up to the basketball court with the whole starting five in this little ass car. Knees hurting like a motherfucker, too, though. Knees, back, everything. Man. Everybody in the back seat have lost their keys. Beating, though. Nigga, you hear this shit beating from seven block down, nigga, with eight niggas in the car, bro. That shit used to be funny back in the day, bro. <laughs> funny. But yeah, I think Mac was like the first one to have with. And then it slowly trickled down, and once I got mine, I was cool. Like, yeah. Ride my own shit, nigga. I just, I don't know. Maybe I live in a small city. And like, I've had cars, but I never was really a car guy. Like, I just don't get it. Like, maybe if I had, if I was, it was like in Atlanta, where you can drive around, it was spacious and all that shit. And everything ain't no damn stoplight or sharp turn or whatever, or you might go down the wrong street, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I might be pressed on, you know what I'm saying, getting cars and all that shit driving around, but I just don't give a fuck. Bro. It was the whole riding around thing with me. Like, I don't give a fuck about this. It's just, yeah, I can ride around, you know what I'm saying? Ride around through the city. If I need to, I can get the car and get, get going, but. You might get into a, a race. You might get into a high speed chase. You might see some crazy shit. When you young and got license and ride, nigga, you good. You everywhere. I always had license and insurance, so I was cool everywhere I went. Except for what I uh slid out the Vendelia one night with the homies. Yeah. Cuz said, 
man the uh response rate or some shit he was pretty much saying the way they respond to shit calls they respond immediately as soon as he said that nigga mm -hmm. cherries and berries was on my ass mm -hmm. i was literally at the union about to get on the highway about to shoot back to the hood they pulled me over so damn quick doing the wrong who what when where how i got license leave us alone all right have a good night we rolled out so you know what i'm saying that was cool I ain't never been harassed by the police. That's a whole different show right there, Damn, nigga. I ain't lying. Blessed. Oh, they knock on some wood. Man. They didn't pull this over because we just in. They said my car, my, I got an 85 Delta. They said that was a dope boy's car when I had it mm -hmm. on the street every day. Mm -hmm. I had a big body. 85 Delta, man. They used to treat me like I was a super kingpin, bruh. I used to be like, nigga, don't tear my car up, bro. I leave my shit alone. All you see was do rags and tech Damn. Nigga, I got license and insurance. Why are you tearing up my car, man? Leave my shit alone. <laughs> nigga, they teach classes and do that shit, nigga. Look, I understand. Look at, look at the dashboard. But I wasn't doing anything. I was coming home from work. Sir, they don't, they don't know that. They got to make sure that you're not carrying any contraband. Nigga, the dog got a hint because it smelled like yard bird, motherfucker. <laughs> That's when I was working at KFC. That mm -hmm. motherfucker smelled the buckets in that back seat. Sound like you was up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you was you was moving them bricks. Uh, yeah, like you, you were moving them bricks and birds. Yeah, I was dropping them birds off to the homies. Moving them birds, moving them bricks. Hey, I used to come through like Dr. Dre coming through with a gang of tanger nigga, with them buckets. You know what's so uh, funny? Uh, I'm gonna tell you something. That was down there 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, 20 years ago, they all them back in the day, nigga, it's 2020, it's 22s, and these motherfucking right. date in this year, so yeah. we gotta come up with a nickname for it. They but, say you old enough, if your if your first number of your year, you was born, start with a one. Fuck that. You of age. Yeah. <laughs> I was born when it wasn't on 911. See, see a two, get your ass out of here, see a one, all right. No, the twos is getting old. I mean, yeah, what is that? Yeah, you know for a fact, if it's one on there, you you of age, you done, you done. Okay. <laughs> we're done out here. We're, we're learning. That's all. When I when I learn, we're teaching now. <laughs> like, you don't know it by now, you don't know it. I'm pushing it back out. Shit, I feel like I'm shitting information. Getting to the point say. where I'm stopped giving the speeches to niggas, man. I used to give speeches, trying to tell motherfuckers how to do shit right. I realize that shit too. Them niggas don't listen unless you got a beat behind it and you got <laughs> beginner dreads. You got 900 fans behind you. Man, you got to have a fucking a, a, a backing. That's all they going to say is send prayers when some real shit happen. That's why I'm like, fuck it. I mean, y'all going to learn me. Ask your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. I tried. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, fuck it. Like, I'm just having fun. Yeah, like, I, said some, I said some shit on uh, Facebook one year about that. I said, I'm done dating women with kids. I'm tired of doing community service. Mm. Motherfuckers was calling me all kind of names. That, that status. I was like, bitch, I done produced all kind of positive kids and ain't none of them around out right now because of these two damn bitches. Hey, I'm blessed to meet a, have a woman that will do not have any kids. So we ain't got no kids now. And I'm blessed not to have that problem. Yeah. So, and I do say problem because I'm not the person that raised no motherfucking kids. And I admit that. <laughs> a lot of niggas don't even can't admit it. I can be a man and say I'm not the type of person to raise no damn kids because I work too damn much and I worry too damn much and I'm protected. I can't fucking stress myself out working and worrying about no damn kid. Somebody is. Something's going to it's gonna have to give. So it, I gotta. I can't do both. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm going to neglect my kid to get money or I'm not getting money and just take care of my kid and probably on food stamps. Shit, that'd be 90% of the argument between the mom and the dad. Can't understand that. That's why I just don't have them. That's why everybody you know beat them. It might sound stupid to a lot of y'all motherfuckers out there, but I just don't have them. So it's not like I said that shit after I had kids. I ain't got no chilling. My pull-out game yeah. is strong. I chose yeah. not to have them. <laughs> yeah, I chose, yeah. I can start up a lot more on one pool right now. <laughs> Nigga, you know that thing in the gym that pull you pull from the flow? That's what I've been doing for my whole life. Pulling out. Nigga. It's not working that way, bitch. You not getting me. Not getting me, I done it. <laughs> Shit. You better scrape it off your back and, and, and your sunroof. <laughs> I had about four scares. 
four, maybe five scares. I but have none. Yeah. 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 I pulled out like wider. But it was, yeah, it was my choice not to have no kids. And then be people be acting. People want to try to roast you because you ain't no kids. Oh, you ain't getting no pussy. You ain't getting this. Well, fuck you. Just because every time you get in some pussy, you don't know how to get up out of there in time. Oh, that's so amazing. I want to have kids with you. Yeah. Then you had kids. Well, uh. Um, had kids with somebody you don't even know. Exactly. No. She know how to roll blunts and freak blacks better than you and your homies. Yeah, if your baby and mama know how to smoke blacks or freak blacks, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I swear I do. If your baby mama is right now freaking a black and mild with her hair wrapped up and tapping it on the damn ashtray, <laughs> I feel sorry for you, sir. Like, I, my condolences. I, I'm saying the word, word wrong, but you know what I'm saying. Goes out to you. It's that thug love, man. It's that thug love. I guess, bro. <laughs> they're the worst kind of women to argue with. They might run out of words and just cut you. Like, yeah. the fuck? Like, you gonna stop talking after you get cut. She stopped talking because you ran out of words. Like, it's like, stupid as shit. It's over with, nigga. The bitch, the bitch always got some boiling water just in case she lose an argument. <laughs> like, on the, on the stove. Like, that type the of fuck? motherfucker. It's where the hell you getting this from? Nigga, nigga I'm just ready. Grits all day. Mm -hmm. That's why I just, yeah. I watched and paid attention to who the fuck I talked to. I'd be cool with them, but we ain't talking like that. We, we was, yeah. We were just friends. So. When, when I was down south, off subject to that, but when I was out down south, this dude showed me some shit at this bonfire. Oh, shit. He put cooking oil on the wood as it was burning to make it burn better. And it didn't smoke like throwing lighter fluid and shit on it. So, don't you want to smoke? No, not at a bonfire. You don't want everybody to be smoked out. You just want the heat from the fire. You want to be kicking it around that motherfucker, smoking and drinking. Don't that shit get rid of like the mosquitoes and all that shit? Yeah, it's the heat gonna do it itself. But when you first start the fire, the smoke gonna make everything go anyway. That's the start of it. But you don't want it to keep smelling like kerosene or gas or something like that. Literally. Oh, it came out with a thing of cooking grease. Mm -hmm. Wire fire was low and shit. It was it was it was still on fire, but it was low. Poured that shit on that wood. That shit said. Phew. That's that's said country shit. Yeah, that's what I, I said. I want to be an outside fire that smell like food. It didn't smell like food though. It just mm -hmm. burnt the wood the right the right way. That should attract some shit that I ain't got the animal for. <laughs> it didn't have no smell to it. That. I don't know. Down south seemed like a cool place, but I can't take my girl there. I don't think they accept us yet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm pretty sure my fam my whole family don't. But I'm not taking my girl down there. I'm, yeah. So. It's just like this, but it's temperature different. I don't know where where, where I was is a lot different than the way it was. A lot different than the way it was. It used to be dirt roads and fields. Now yeah. I look like Centerville and goddamn it, Miami's bird. Times have changed. That's the, that's a 2022. I, I gotta get used to here saying that fucking year. 2022 out of <laughs> South Alabama. They got buildings and shit. 22 style. But anyway, um, what the fuck else happened this year? Or what the fuck you want to want to happen this year? I don't know. I don't want to sound like everybody. I want to work on my health and get shit. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm doing something once a week, you know? Yeah, that shit lasts about like a day. Yeah, with me. I mean, but you gotta, you gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? Prime example, Man, my nigga Vic, he one, he one person that actually stood on his word and got in shape. I remember cuz was by my size, probably a little bit smaller than this motherfucker brick, brick wall looking ass man, running miles. He right. stuck to it. He stuck to it. I'm happy for you. I'm proud of him. Bruh, he like a totally different person. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I tried that shit out for a day. The exercise shit, the lifting weights, I'm still on. Just a diet shit, I ain't made it there yet. It's like my sweet tooth is just killing me. I just got a portion. Like what Skis would say, he like, nigga, work out hard and party afterwards. Fuck it, as long as you working out hard. Exactly. You got it. Exactly, it's pretty much just building it up. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really losing it. It's burning off what you put in, but yeah, keep maintaining. I wish I had a swim pool, a warm swim pool to work out in. Niggas can't swim. I can swim, so it makes me not a Negro, huh? This nigga ain't swimming. Yeah, it I, makes you I a can Negro. swim backwards, 
underwater or on top of water. I can swim, man. I forgot where I grew up. Well, I grew up on the West Coast, nigga. It's like you gotta know how to swim if you grow up on the West Coast. It's a pool on every yeah, block, like a damn floor. liquor store. Area apartment complex shit. in Cali got a swimming pool. Ah, uh, that yeah. Every mm -hmm. motel got a swimming pool. Then you gonna be in that water one day, nigga. It's gonna be hot as fuck. Mm -hmm. And ain't none of the homies gonna be fucking with you. You gonna have to get in that water with all the homies kicking it with the bitches too. Fuck that. I ain't never fucked with pools back in the day. I learned how to sw I almost died drowned during swimming practice. So I ain't never been back in the damn swimming pool since then. But swimming pool is easy, man. Swimming is easy. Yeah. I ain't gonna say this nigga can't swim, but I think nowadays he probably had trouble. Because Nope. Nope. I'm gonna tell you today. I went swimming two years ago. And then I went swimming when I went on my last vacation. That might be what you need, Phil. Yeah, he got an ailment. He got a fucking fucked up sports injury. That's why. That's why I want to be in the water. That's what I'm saying. It might help your ass out. It will. But I don't know all that fucking foot kicking and all that shit on, foot on you. Yeah. It it's different happen. when you're in the water because the pressure of your body is lifted by the water. Yeah, that would. Yeah. It ain't like... 700 pounds on your joints. It might work. That's what I said. It might work. It might that's, be. It why might they, that's why they got water aerobics. It's for older people because they can't <laughs> they can't stand up and do shit. The water holds you up, actually. But it just getting your cardio and shit in, too. They say the best thing to do is swim. The best thing for you to do is to swim if you want to get in shape. Because you ain't messing up your joints by running. I ain't doing that. You ain't messing up your joints by pushing up weights. Picking up 1,200 pounds, pushing that shit up to the sky. Fucking your joints up when you in that water. It's a little different. It's a little different. I don't know. I gotta figure out a way. I gotta drop these LBSs. That was my little plan for this year. Just drop a few, but I gotta worry on that. Uh, I gotta wait on that goddamn. Um, that's the, the cravings to pass. You know what I'm saying, man? So just gotta watch. Watch how you eating. And uh, shit. Uh, hopefully, I get my fucking house this year. If we get a house this year, we make it a tour of that motherfucker and put it on the damn show. <laughs> damn right. That's my goal for this year. That's on my board. Yes, I have a call it a wish board. It might be called something else, but we got one of them at the house. Me and my girl. <coughs> so we got the car. It's probably want me to get a car, so I can stop up using hers. But uh, uh we'll get a house next. So that's my goal for this year. Fuck all that. And my health is good. I just gotta lose the ex excess body I got. So it's not like I gotta, I gotta get my cholesterol down and all that shit. Oh, that shit is good. I just gotta get the, 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 the sculpting. You just sculpting. Yeah, yeah, I'm toning up. I gotta do that shit. Yeah. So that's my shit for this year. Um, oh, I'm at two shit. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't get a dog. I gotta get a fucking dog this year, dude. My girl is watching YouTube videos of puppies. She's dropping hints. <laughs> Bad. This is like, so I gotta find this, a fucking dog for her. Before she start having an affair. I mean, we just went to, <laughs> we just went through it, man. This how he, this how this, you know, I'm just fucking with y'all. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, my, that's my goals for this year, is get a dog and, uh, and that's all. A dog in a house. That's pretty much it. And work on my goddamn gut. That's pretty much it. And keep my motherfucking hair looking a little luxurious. I know it needs to be done. I know it needs to be twisted up. Number two is on hard now. Yeah, you're supposed to. Who else gonna do it for you? Don't expect nobody to give you your props. You gotta make them see you. But for real, I'm gonna start working on this Delta again. Get my boy back here on the streets. This motherfucker had the same car for how long? Man, I ain't had the same 30,000 problems for how long? Yeah. I'm just saying, like, nigga, I've been trying All to buy this motherfucker. Gone, yeah. I'm trying to buy this motherfucker from this nigga. No. He ain't trying to give it up. This Mark Carter been to jail with me, and I done got him out of jail with me. Excuse me. This, yeah. this nigga gonna bail him or Christine. I bail You know that Stephen King movie, Christine? I got Ben Bonded out of jail. I wouldn't bail my car out of jail, nigga. He ain't going nowhere, nigga. It's me. All Same. day. You'll see it when you don't. When you see it, when you, you see it, nigga. Everybody know what's his in the hood. But, uh, yeah. shit, how long have we been in this motherfucker? Shit, like 45 minutes to an hour. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how the fuck you got here. So, all right, <laughs> what's different with us this year? Excuse me, bitch. That's how we gonna end this one. This was different with us this year. Um, shit. Shit, we got a couple, uh, 
got a couple new shows, little branch out shows we're gonna do. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got any ideas for the branch out shows? Like, I don't. Uh, I, I'm just well, that shit. I'm, I'm gonna do some vlogs. Probably uh, touch, you know, touching that area. Mm. I don't want to give y'all too much information because y'all gonna be like, when is it gonna happen? When is it gonna happen? Yeah, I hate motherfuckers. I hate motherfuckers like that. Bitch, I yeah. like too. I got a life too, goddammit. <laughs> but, uh. So, this channel is gonna be the podcast. Then we're gonna have branches off of other different shit. Yeah. But it's all gonna be related, related to the podcast. You know what I'm saying? So, we might have interviews. This, um, I've been interview section, a motherfucking vlog section, a section for the podcast. And, um, yeah, and after this show, because this show is just about, hey, we're back. We missed y'all for the past two weeks. And then we kept all the shit we needed to say. To ourselves until we <laughs> start the show back, so we got plenty right. to say. Right, right. So after this, it'll be more structured. You know what I'm saying? It'll be better. You know, whatever, whatever. We just coming back to say, sup. <laughs>